such an amount of money. Eh? Remember that girl is an orphan. Eh? Yes, we are told to be her guidance, but not her Santa Claus. See, if you keep on giving her such money, she will forget that she has to struggle and be someone tomorrow. Linda, hasn't the time come when you would learn when and how to talk? I simply provided her with just enough money for her needs and her school things. I don't want her falling into the hands of those lecturers men out there simply because of money. Look at that girl. Just look at that girl very, very well. Does she look like someone who can be content with what she's given? Eh? See, we have a daughter to take care of. This one is our daughter. And she's supposed to be the one we are taking care of. Or is it because she didn't meet up with her cut off mark? Now you want to divert your attention to, to nobody. Linda, mind what you say. You do not know tomorrow. And listen, I will not sit here and watch you ruin my day. I will not sit here and make you make my day ugly. Where are you going to? See you in the evening. You're walking out on me, eh? You're walking out from the truth. You will come back here and meet me. You will come back. A brilliant young girl. Look, I love ladies with an admixture of beauty and brain. No wonder you came out tops in your posterior me examination. <laughs> Look, it's just one guy that could be compared with you in this school. But shortly after he gained admission, everything changed. Changed? Yes. Did he drop out? No, 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 no. Far from it. But he's just a terrible courtist, even though he's still a final year medical student of this school. His name is even in the black book of this school. <sighs> what a waste. Anyway, I'm happy that somebody like you is around now. At least you will fill up the gap you need to leave behind. I'm honored, sir. It's all right. Just make sure you Submit your faculty files. Continue being a good girl. Okay? I will, okay, sir. Okay. I will, sir. And make sure that everything about your intelligence is still intact, okay? <laughs> I promise I, I won't let you down, sir. It's alright, my baby. I'll be on my way now. It's alright, my baby. Have a good day, sir.
to gossip. You can't say we they keep arms for your place, you go to sing anyhow. Idiots. Dispose of the body the usual way. No traces. Do you understand? today in school. What hmm. happened? I saw this very bad boy today. Everyone knows him to be a deadly cultist. Cultist? Hmm. I saw him holding a gun. Jesus. I think he's the one that killed one boy today in school. Was he shot? Um, the boy's body was full of machete cuts. I saw that boy holding a gun. I don't know, but every finger is pointing at him. Yeah. I pity the parents of the dead boy. Chisholm, if you see this boy, he looks very quiet. As if he can't hurt a fly. But he is deadly. <laughs> Please, be very careful. As you can see, you're in the university. And you have stories to tell. As for me, I can't wait to enter school too. Don't worry, you'll join me very soon, okay? So, so how far would the supplementary list? <laughs> that one. I don't think it's going to be possible. Uh -oh. To be sincere, I'm going to buy a new jam for you. It's okay. I promise this is going to be the last jam form you're going to buy, okay? Because I'm going to help you everywhere I can, okay? I pray so. Don't worry. Jesus. You know I could do anything for you. Jesus. Oh, mommy is calling me. Jesus. I'm coming. Yes, mom. Okay. I'm coming. Okay. Why would you tell her your plans? Eh? Do you have common sense at all? Hey. Uh, Abba, mommy. What's wrong with me telling her that I want to buy a new jam from? She asked me and I told her. What's wrong with that? Chisum, Chisum, be wise. You shouldn't tell people about your plans until it is accomplished. Don't you know that some people have evil minds and it could cost you bad luck? <sighs> but mommy, Chinelo is not a stranger. She's been here with us for two months. Shut up. Shut up. Talk when I'm talking. I'm your mother. So when I'm talking, you should listen to me. That girl is a stranger. And the earlier you and your daddy realize that, the better for us. Eh? Oh, Mom, please. Please. I need to eat. I'm hungry. Excuse me. Jesus. Hey, God. Why wouldn't this girl be like me? Eh? Why would she be like me? She is so dumb and so easy to fool. God. Yes, I am. Um, please, can I have your CMP 103 notebook? I want to use it to update mine. I didn't come with it. It's at home. I also need it for my assignment. Yeah, actually, that's why I wanted it too. 
free. Wait now, what is it again? I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this time. You know, I hadn't started lectures when you guys were taught that topic. Um, okay. Why don't you come over to my house later so we could do it together? You remember my house, don't you? Um, yes, 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 I think I do. All right then, I'll let my guidance know I'm coming over to spend the night in your place. Hmm? So your friend will be now, now rise his hands for you? Why you sit down and watch him? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I can explain, sir. Explain what? The art of impersonation? Look, I will let your father know about this. Then I will go ahead and file impersonation charges against you. No matter who your father is. No, no. Please don't tell him. I, I, I will get out. Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Bad dash. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, what? Come on, get out of this. Why are you bent on tarnishing my image? You cannot read and pass your exams. You believe in paying your way through into the university and out of the university. You have a very dull brain. Definitely not from me. Uh, Daddy, I... I was not feeling well that day. I, I was not... Will you shut up? Even though you are ill, must you arrange for someone else to impersonate you? Don't you know it is a crime if it gets into a police file? I'm the commissioner for education. My family should have the best for the academics. Look, if this continues, I will disown you. Daddy, that, that, that's what I've been saying. I don't, I don't want to school here. I want to go to America like the rest of my brothers. Why, why are they there and I'm the only one here? This place is not conducive for me. But I arrange for everyone to study abroad. Some of them passed, but you failed woefully, and you remain here. But if you do well in your academics, in the university, I, you might travel abroad to do your masters. If not, you will remain here. And let me warn you, any attempt to drag my name into the mud suffer a lot of pains and I will disinherit you. Is that clear? I mean every word I have said. I'm 
Look at Nido. You're getting this thing wrong. Eh? See, I've allowed you to stay in my house. But what I won't do is to watch you prostitute from my house. That's why are you talking like this? I only want to go and study with my classmates. That's all. I know. I know. We have all been through that stage before. So don't feed me with those lies. Please now. We were told to submit this assignment first thing tomorrow morning. Please. See, my dear. I've told you, whatever you have outside my house should be from 6 to 6. Night lottery is what I will not tolerate. Okay? Excuse me. Please, I need to go for this thing, please. Please, please, now. I don't like the way you stopped Chinelo from going to her studies last night. It appears you want to make that girl miserable in this house. Wait, wait, wait. Nicholas. You mean Tinelu reported me to you? It's not like that. Hey! So, she reported me to you? Hey! No, no, no! No problems! I will not talk again. So I will tell her one, she will come and tell you two, Abby. No problems. I wanted to get her accommodation in no the problem. university. You refused. The same you refused. Nicholas, I said no problem, so. Hey, guy, okay. Alright, See, man, we have to go to get to school on time. I'm okay, down, I've not okay. completed your assignment. But Pam, now make her pimp up my right. Who this shit, man? Oh, boy, talking about assignment, you see our guys. Professor Godwin actually told Popsy that I don't do anything, that you write my exam for me, that you write as what, what that you write the assignment for me, that I don't even attend class. Oh boy, that man must be mad at you, man. Mad? You know how strict Popsy is. The man don't ban everything. He said he never can let come house on weekends, that he doesn't want me here except on weekdays. What else? He said he was going to disown me. Wow. <laughs> See, guy. You really have to sit up this time, honestly, man. You have all it takes. Listen, I just don't have the brains for books. I, I, my brain is for something else. I don't know. Look at what look at what you're saying, man. You you do have it. All you have to do is just to develop it. Now, what, what are you talking about? If you're not born with something, well, how will you develop it? I've always banned the exam. Me in a coil again. Do this thing. Let's get in the car and get out of here. I don't blame you. you don't see person where they chauffeur you go go. We collect this thing. Where they trek? Where you don't know me? Where they trek? You need a bone anyhow. Let's get out of here, man. I'm gonna have a rag now. I go carry a rag and take it. Man, that why they look me like that for? Man, do this thing here. I'm gonna move the pocket with you. Carry a move now. Guy, now what for you? Clean your leg before you enter this car. Get out of here, man. <laughs> To get rotten. Eh? But one day she will come back to this house with unwanted pregnancy. And you, you are not safe. Oh. Me. You are not safe. Are you not safe, man? Uh, hi! Ah. Jesus Christ. Mm. Eh? That's not the way. You should know what the university is all about. It's not like the secondary schools. Or oh, why do you think students leave their houses and move into the hostels? You can only advise her and then let her learn the rest herself. You know she started school very late and she needs to catch up. My dear, my daughter, no problems. I'm wrong, right? I won't talk again. No problems, no. No problem, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, yes.
Are you true? Yes, sir. Are you sure you are true? Give me your truth. Excuse me, sir. Please, I need an extra sheet. Exam was too tough. Yeah, I noticed too. I noticed the, the course was so tough, and the man no ideas. There was no room for nonsense. And the girlfriend and the name of F9. Wait for me now. I got it. Oh, but anyway, who be that girl we sit here? That fine tall girl, the one that, that girl is. <laughs> that girl finished the paper in one hour. No. Because the course was so tough. If it were other courses, she would have finished before then. Mm. That, girl, that girl has a computer in her head. She's too brilliant, man. Too much. Come on. Good boy. Now nah, guy, I like that girl. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now my spec. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> I like that girl. You understand it? What what's her name? <laughs> Her name is Chinel, but I don't know her surname. But hello, don't bother yourself liking her. She's not your type. Nah, but for a for fun. What? What? We men are the same. Money. The money talk the bullshit. It's always about the money. It is about the money. They all like money. Let me let me ask you now. What if she asks you one obinga question now? How you go take answer? Guy, you don't understand. No girl will ask you a question when you're spending money. I'm telling you, so you help me, Razor. Let me talk to her. Talk to her? Yes, ma'am. I'm afraid, man. I will still help you, Razor, babe. No, I will. Now, what did I come be your white man for? You're a fellow, you're a fellow. You're not good one. No, okay. You sure say you're not good one? No, I'm not good one. Are you good? I'm not good, Razor, babe. 10,000. Oh, you give it? 10,000. Oh, you give it? 10,000. You go do it. I go do it. There's nothing left in the house, though. And you promised to give me money today. Give me money. Who eats all the food in that house? You. You eat too much. Now, how much did you come to school with this semester? And you want to feast on my own pocket money, isn't it? Uh, you said I should come and join you here. And now I've joined you. And you threatened that if you see me with any guy, you. Yeah, no, it's okay. Coming too extravagant. Ah, uh, this one will be enough for me. Just, just take, 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 take. Once it's you. 9 p.m., lock the door. Yeah, I My brother, my brother. Not too much. Bye. Yeah, girl, what's up? How are you? What are you doing with that guy? That guy is deadly. I'm like, you're too responsible to be seen hanging around such a person. That guy is a murderer. Mm. Have you seen him murder anyone? Have you? Mm, I've not seen him, but people say that. People will always talk. Don't tell me you listen to gossip. Come, let's go and eat. I've got some box. No, I was on my way to the library. Uh, after eating, you go to the library. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, the build on me. Just walk up to this girl and talk to her. Oh, I didn't. This man, no. 
Easy. Why did you like this? <laughs> I know, Miggy, if you that baby, if you that baby, ah, no, if you that baby. How? What do you mean, how? Just walk up to her and talk to her. Okay, if you easy like that, why you know if you talk to her for me? Then? Help you, help you talk to her. No, they, they don't say you don't hear me. <laughs> oh, you're here now. All right, all right, all right. How much? My guy, why they talk like this now? You'll be my man again. I'll give you 5,000. Five? Come on, man. You can do more than that. You can't do it that, that amount, man. Come on. Well, why they do like this now? Okay. I'll give you 10,000. That's more like it, man. I'll do that. You go do it, man. You got it. Okay. Let me see. I don't know where they now. She's coming. She's where? coming. Over there. Oh boy, oh <laughs> Hey girl. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm alright. How are you doing? Oh, we were just looking out for you. Looking out for me? Yeah. See, and there is this my friend that really wants to talk to you. He really likes you. Your friend? Yeah. Where is he? Never mind. We'll get to meet him, okay? Why don't I have your phone number so that we can call you sometime? I don't have a phone. You serious? Yeah. All right, where are you off to? To the library. That's right then. Just bear it in mind that someone is really, really dying for you. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm here. I'll see you later. Take care now. Bye. Take this. I don't even know who this person is. See, let me tell you. His name is Alfred, and he's the commissioner's son. Don't worry, you get to meet him. He's a nice guy, and he's also our course mate. Now, why can't he come himself? If he wants a girl, he should be man enough to walk up to her. Um. Anyway, tell him to try harder, and do me a favor. Take this back to him. I don't need it. Bye. Miss Goody Two Shoes. Why didn't you collect the gift that was given to you yesterday? Oh, that. Why would I collect it? Do I know who he is? Hmm. But that's the advantage of being a pretty girl now. One with hot brains, too. See, there's nothing wrong in someone giving you a gift as in admiration of your good performance in school. There's nothing there. Collect it. So, I'll light on my guidance. I don't want you to look as if I. Ah, you're a big girl now. You're matured. Well, sit. Look for something to tell them. They'll understand. Okay, okay, see. Hmm? What if there is this impromptu assignment or quiz and I want to get to you, I want to reach you, how do I reach you? Must I come to your house? You need a phone, you're a big girl. It's a harmless gift. And besides, this guy has enough money to spend. So, let us help him cut it down. Eh? You mustn't date him, let's just help him eat the money. You understand? So, this is your phone, eh? It's a fine phone. Hmm. Alright. Let's take it.
Hey, hi. I think that you're back. How was your day? Mm, not so bad. And how was yours? That's fine. So, have you bought your jam for me? Yes, I have. Hmm. And I hope you feel in my school as your first choice. You bet, I do. Oh, that's great. Um, Chi? Yep. There's something I want to show you. <laughs> what is this? Here. Someone. Wow. wow. Like this. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Who gave you this one? One of my course mates, he mm. said he likes me, he likes my brilliant performance in class, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And he gave me that. Mm. It's fine. I like it. It's fine. So, where is mom and dad? Let me show it to them. Mm. Then I'm back. Mm, really. Okay. Let me go in and change. I'll do it shortly. Okay. Feel that jump from very well. No mistakes. No problem. I will. Please, she has collected the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that girl. <laughs> that girl is a girl of integrity. You're right, man. You're right. If it's any of these chiquitos, you know, all these, all these wewa girls, man, they, <laughs> they just collect the phone without asking who, who gave the phone. You know, who, even if I, I spent my, no, you know those kind of girls. You're right, man. You're right. But Alfred, man. Hmm? You really have to sit up this time, man. You know, you know how it is. I, I can't, I can't keep arranging your rooms for you. No, I know how it is, man. What, what about the money? All the money I've been paying. Guy, you know how it is. What, how is it? Come on, man. Look, Obi, if you don't like the money I'm paying you, you say so. <laughs> I'll find somebody else and pay. Guy, man. Come on, man. It's an eighty for me. No, my friend. No. <laughs> no, you need to. Let's get out of here. Gave you this phone this person that gave you this phone who is it to you and to stop shouting now our neighbors might misunderstand this <laughs> let them hear so you're hiding it eh so let me tell you there's nothing hidden under the sun so you started giving your body to men in place of gifts eh hey and this this person is just my cosmate we're not even friends we're, we're, we're Hello? Yeah, hello? Hello? Um, I, I looked for you after lectures, but I did not see you. It seems you left in a hurry. Hello, are you there? Are you there? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, um, you're a beautiful girl, a lady of integrity. Uh, I really admire brilliant girls a lot, considering the fact that... Hello? Hello? I thought you said this person is nothing to you. Eh? I thought you said he's nothing to you. Hey, God. So, you want to go and get pregnant? Eh? You want to go and get pregnant and come into this house? Eh, Tinelo? Okay, Auntie, you can, you can keep the phone. You can have it. I don't want it. But please, stop calling me names. I'm, I'm not a kid. Hey! Chineke. God, I'm finished. Chinelo! Hey! God. Phone. She wants to go and get my dad and bring it to this house. Eh? So that the the Okay.
Who is it? It's me. You who? Come in. Nana, wow. What can be the problem with that chick now? She don't want to pick my call. I don't call, I'm caught. Anyway, they get one, one person will pick a call, I don't know what I'm going to be. Come on, man. Why are you getting yourself all worked up already? Don't worry, you see her in school. At least Amaka is involved right now. It will be a lot, lot easier for you. Okay? Come on, let's get out of here. Forget about it. Where's our jalopy, man? Huh? Our jalopy? Yeah. You see machines everywhere. How they going to allow me to pack that jalopy here? I want to disgrace my old man. <laughs> they give me space for back. <laughs> <laughs> one this one. I don't stick the key to this one. This one I won't go with. Wow, man. <laughs> Why not? My sister will kill me if I don't treat you right. But this is much. It's all right, I'll do it. You don't understand. You see, I, I, I don't I, I don't know how to approach her. Because oh god the idea now. You know, um I'm a bigger boy. I I, I don't want her to look down on me like like I'm um, you know I'm I'm a non entity, you know? You understand? It's that's that's fuck up. Alfred, you're the guy here. You should be able to talk to any girl you want to. That's what I reply. Oh, what's your own? Oh, you are a friend, let me talk to one. Oh, that's her. She's Where is she? Where is she? As soon as she comes, I'll leave you guys. I, I, I want to go in. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Just tell her to go in. Where are you going? I feel like you need Girl, I'm not for you. So, Gilad is your brother. He never told me about it. <laughs> Yeah, I was scared that you went away from me too. So I was looking for a better time to tell you. Yes, and Edu is my brother, okay? And uh, he belongs to a family here in school. But he's not as bad as you think or as deadly as people think he is. Do you understand? You don't have to be scared of him or me, okay? He could be nice and thoughtful, you know. Yeah, I, I noticed. No, no, I'm not trying to create um, excuses to justify his action. No, no I'm not. But if you get to know him, you'll like him. Really. He's a nice person. Hmm? Um, I beg, enough of my brother. Mm -hmm. Your phone buyer wants to take us out now. Let us eh? mm -hmm. That guy. What happened? I beg, I beg, please. That guy is... Man, that, that guy is... He, he's not just man enough. Look at the way he sped off when he saw me coming. <laughs> oh, so you noticed? Of course I did that. Am I blind? It's just the money we should have. Alfred. And hey now, let us help him get back on the right track with cash now. Uh uh, don't you need the phone? Me, I need more phone. Let's eat his money. Let him spoil us a little, don't you? Hey, I'm you. <laughs> anyway, I'm game as long as you're with me. Of all course, the way. girl. I'll leave <laughs> right behind you. Okay, yeah. no problem. So, we're game. Yeah, sure. Well, let me show you something. Yeah, this is your cooking. You know what I mean? Let me show you. Let me show you.
Good day, sir. Good day. You are Yes, I am. See me at the parking slot. See me right now by my car. I'm very sure I wrote that course. I was even the first to submit my papers on that day. You do not expect me to know who submitted first or last. I did not see your script in my file. And you know what that means? Having carry over in a four unit course. Can I explain this? Having a carryover in a four unit course. Oh God. My guardian will be so disappointed in me. Even Mr. Godwin. I can never forgive myself. No. Stop <laughs> crying now. Stop. Okay, do you know what you do? Why don't you just go back to his office? Tell him to set another question there for you. You write it in front of him, okay? It's no big deal now. You're up to it. You should just take another one for you and you write. Stop crying. Hmm? Stop now. This is the is <laughs> I got you there. Oh, stop. Stop crying. Cry, cry, baby. What to do? I told you to stop following me. Sir, I'm ready to rewrite it, even in your office, please. Gloria. Good afternoon, sir. Tell this young lady what one should do when she did not find a script in my file. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This man, we have to go and build. We have to go and pay. Will not happen over my dead body. How can he tell you to pay for a hotel room then invite him to come and sleep with you? You that one will not happen over my dead body. Do you hear me? The hotel is brain in school like you. Rubbish. I'm, like, I'm done for. Having a case with a lecturer is one bad dream I have never prayed for. God. Don't worry yourself, okay? Don't just disturb yourself. I don't buy this case. Eh? This case is my own now. Come, let us go. Since this is how we want it, you will get it. Get up, let's go, let's go. I know what to do. Let us go now. Let's go, let's go. It's, it's a surprise having you here. My friend, do you know me? Yes, I've seen you before. What's my name? Um, Chinedu. Please shut up. I said, what's my name? G. 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 Lord. G. Lord. G. Lord, yeah. Okay. What's the meaning of that G? General. General with... General, 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 General. General with... Lord, Lord, Lord. General Lord. General Lord. Yes, General Lord. Uh, so, why did you hide my girlfriend's script and tell her to sleep with you? Impossible. Impossible. Sorry, which girl are we talking about? Her name is Chinelo Baka. I found her script. In the file of year three student. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I've given her a very good mark. And she scored high. She made the highest mark. Okay, my friend, shut up. I... Shut up. Shut up. Shh. See, let it be the way you have said. You understand? Because the next time I come to visit you, it 
it's meant to be like this. Oh. Mm. So what's my name? Hmm? Eh? What? Gilad. Gilad. Yes. Yeah, Gilad. 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 Say one DP. I say I'm not gonna give him. Make it ask me like you know like guy. No, I ain't work out. Me just look the mag anyhow. Give him to Ram. With him, I just. Hello guys. Hi, baby. Please, I'm looking for one Chinelo. She's a first year student in your department. Oh, Chinelo, <laughs> small now. Um, we have a ten o'clock um lecture, so that's what we're waiting for. She's not here, but put that ten o'clock. You went to bed one time. All right, thanks. Okay. So you're coming back, yeah? Sure. Okay. Now, now what for you? Look at what you're doing. Do what? you know who she is? They could be friends you now. Don't give out information like that. You don't know who she is, man. Nah, nah, fuck up, bro. And you know that babe looks like. Now you have to get higher killer. <laughs> Yeah, um, he said he misplaced it and he's now found the square. Mm. It's a lie. As soon as you say he became loyal, don't mind him. As long as I don't carry that course over. God, seriously, I, I was dead with worry. I'm so happy now and I have you both to thank for it. No, no, we have him to thank for it. Thank you very much. I'm really, really happy now. I'm so happy. Thank you, big brother. Okay, so at least the good thing now is that you can get on with your studies and you know he wouldn't get in your way. I can't stand. He won't dare. He won't dare you. He believes the bad. He misplaced the script. I swear. Some of these lecturers. Uh, no, no. Look, let me tell you, Nadi. You are giving that girl too much attention. I don't like it, and I'm going to stop it. Look, I've told you she's my sister's best pal. Your sister's best pal, my foot. Is she the first friend your sister is having? I can't believe you actually went to a lecturer for her. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, now it's yourself. You even call that thing your girlfriend. That rag. That maggot. Hey, I go show that girl for this school, oh. You go show her for this school. Angela, you go show her for this school. Let me see you do your worst. Nadine, where are you going? Get out. Are you walking out on me? Nadine, you just dared me. Okay, we shall see. She's actually having an affair with that hoodlum. That impudent monkey. He threatened me yesterday. For a script. The script I did not see. Now he forced me to give her marks for exam she did not see it for. Just imagine the likeness. No, 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 imagine no. the likeness. No, 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 Mr. Choma. You see, that you didn't see the script doesn't mean she didn't write the exam. Please, give her a chance to write another one. I'm sure she will do well. Mm. Yes. I've given her marks already. Because I don't have time for that impudent monkey. That hoodlum. I believe uh, it's time for the Senate meeting. Yes, yes, let's start going. Thank So you're the one. You had the guts to take my man. Excuse me. 
What man are you talking about? My friend, shut up and listen. Excuse me. What, what's your problem? I don't know what you girls are talking about. What? What's happening here? Fight? What's this all about? I'll do it you sleep. Okay. Just relax, this is fuck all. Uh, Big time fuck all. And nonsense is this. Just to discuss this thing. That girl had the F on three to do this kind of thing to my babe. You know, it's a police matter. See, uh, Alfred, I'm just, telling you. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, yeah. if it's money, that can't go on the nah, 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 nah. Just chill out first so that you don't make matters worse. I must see Angela today. I am going to see her today. It's I okay. want to see her. It's okay. How are we even sure that she is the person? It is only Angela that will do that kind of thing. She's wild. But I'm going to show her the true meaning of wildness. If she thinks she's mad, then I am crazy. Alfred, let's leave here. Let's get out of here. Had it been that you left the phone with her, we at least have called her to find out where she is. What will I tell the villagers if anything happened to her? What will I tell them? I've told you there's something in that girl's eyes. You see it? She has started keeping late nights. Hmm. No, it's okay now. Eat your food. You have to stop this. You're going to fall ill if you continue like this, so. Can you imagine what she did to me? She almost got me naked in front of the whole school. I've never been this embarrassed. It's all right, huh? Look, just... Just try and wipe it off you. It will do you a whole lot of good. Okay? All right, then, I know what to do. Why don't you two girls go in, you know, freshen up, and then I'll go shop for you, too. Wow, that would be nice. Uh-oh, I'm accepting someone. You know what, you guys should go ahead. Get me something beautiful, though. I don't feel like going out. But you will, sweetheart. You will. I don't want you sitting here and giving me that long face. Mm? Don't worry, when you get back, you feel much better. My brother is very good at making people happy. Okay? Ah, please, stop that. Mm -hmm. Linda. Daddy, where is your phone? It's in the room. Okay. There are certain things you don't talk about. If anything happens to that girl, 
if anything happens to her. So I, for your mind now, your girlfriend if you could pass me. Come on, Amaka, don't even get started. But don't worry, I promise you one thing. Anytime my girl cooks, I'm going to bring a little for you to test. And don't even try to call her to your house to come and cook. Hmm. As what now? Anyway, um, I'm a girl, there's this party that's happening tonight and I would like both of us to attend the party. I promise you the party is going to be a bump. I bet carry your party go. Hmm? I'm expecting someone important. Amaka. Who is Amaka? Chinelo's friend. Your way to beautiful girl. That's why you. Hello. Oh, Chiso, how are you? Night there. Eh? Yeah. Amaka, it's like you're waiting for your guy or is he a new catch? Oh, oh. oh yeah, I know it's flat now. <laughs> so please move. So, um, what are you talking about the party? So I'm not going. It's going to be a good place. No, like I wait, I don't know, give me my drink. I know they go. Thank you. I am not going. So you have no change. Your girlfriend, go and tell your girlfriend now. I want to go to the first place. Hey, it's on a last day left. I know they go. I wish there was a way I could talk to her. I can imagine how she must feel now, wherever she is. I wish I can console her. She's too gentle for what happened to her today. I would have gone with Obi to Amaka's house. By chance she's there. Oh, why didn't I go? Well, I only came to tell her to stay away from my man. Someone told me they were together last night. Because if she doesn't stay away from him, I will bait her with acid. You will do no such thing. Thank you very much, my dear. I am not surprised at what you said at all. But um, we will talk to her. eh? Honestly, we will talk to her. You better do. Because when next... I get her around him. She won't be able to tell the story. Hold it right there. Enough of that, your nonsense. Now, close the door. Take your leave. Get out! See, so, mm, you don't talk to a guest like that. But, Daddy, we don't need such guests in this house. And you, you're still standing. Get out of this house. Mm. Now. Okay, you're still here. Chisum, look, uh, young lady, you may have to leave now. You see, my daughter can sometimes be irrational. Please. But please don't have Down this time, how could you fight that innocent poor girl and tear her clothes? G Lord is not hanging out with her, he's not dating her. He did what he did just because he wants to save the sister's friend. Oh, come off it, Emeka. It's a lie. They are dating. See, a reliable source told me he saw both of them drive past her house. Angela, you know as much as I do that I know G Lord more than you. Come on, Angela, I'll always give you information if there's any babe that wants to double cross you. Hi! Emeka, 
Emeka. Emeka wait. Angela, you, you had the guts to step on my toes, Angela. Amaka, please leave my way now. I'm not in the mood for all this drama. You know what? I'm going to forgive you because I know how we all started. But I give you 24 hours to apologize to my friend and I. <laughs> or else, you know what will happen. Gilad is my brother. And remember, blood is thicker than water. Chilo, what is this I hear about you having an affair with a muffin boy? So it's not true. Look, whether it is true or not, all I want you to know is that you are treading in dangerous waters. Chinedu has murdered many people. He has stepped on toes. Daniel's body was found beside the toilet door. Mrs. Peters came to testify that she saw Daniel with Chinedu 30 minutes before the body was found in that same complex. The school authority asked Chinedu, but he refused. And there was no evidence to pin him down. Daniel's group wanted to fight, so we had to invite the police to maintain peace and order. Everything returned to normalcy, only for us to learn a week later that Mrs. Peter had been murdered. What? Every time we ask him for assignment, let me say you know what's going on. Okay, he's at home, I'll bring you tomorrow. Okay, now better. <laughs> you can only be one person. Okay, don't be too sure. <laughs> I'll see you. Sure. No, I'll see you later, okay? All right, bye, then. bye. Hey, baby. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to check okay. your for us. Okay, you wait one oh, time now. <laughs> Paggy <Pag> now. <laughs> where, where my Chichi now? She went to the registrar's office. He sent for her. She's mm. gone back. Okay, um, I pack over there. Let's let's drive towards the registrar's office. Maybe we'll pick up. Right. Baby. Yeah, what's up? How is it? About the move up. What have I done this time? See, you are a husband's match. Go before you snatch my husband. Why are you talking like this? I'm first, I, I just want to ease myself. I said go! Ah, see, I am not Angela, and this is my house. And see, I know this is your house. I just want to go in and ease myself. Go and look for where you will ease yourself. And don't come back here again. I don't want to see you around here. So go!
It's a lie. What gives her the impetus to lie against me? She's a green snake in the green grass. This is not the first time I'm hearing about this. Best I must warn you, Mr. Truman. Take your hands and eyes off that girl, or you'll have me to contend with. I'm sorry. It's a lie. I mean it. She's a green snake in the green grass. I mean it. Mr. Godwin, don't wear this visit. Sit down, sit down. I hope there's no problem. No, sir. It's all about Alfred. Alfred? Yes, How about him? He has improved so well in his academics. You must be joking. No, sir. I'm not joking. I can be more serious, in fact. His grades have improved so well. In fact, he's even above average. His attendance is excellent. In fact, most of these days I find him in the school library and under the trees studying. Well, that's a very good news. And I'm surprised because um, he had always been carefree about his academics right from secondary school days. <laughs> no, this time around, sir, I think he has fallen into good hands. Ah, Mr. Godwin. Uh, you know, you are like a father to him. Please tell me. Go straight to the point. I don't understand. Well, sir, it might not be right for him to get involved with members of the opposite sex right now. But this particular girl in question is a good influencer. 
You mean a girl turned my son to a new leaf? Yes, sir. Her name is Chinelu. She's one of the best students in the university. In fact, if not the best, sir. Well, that's good. I'm glad about that. I'm glad about that. Ah, sorry about my attitude. Have you been offered something? Uh, no, 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 sir. Please, don't bother about that. You know you are a very busy man and some people are waiting for you outside. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Uh, th there is this other issues that have brought me here. What is it? Our uh, ETF building has been completed and we need you to commission it for us. Ah, well, that's a great honor. Just tell me when it is. So it's a very good for you, okay? Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Sorry, sir. Have a nice day. Angela went to Chinelo's house to report her. She told them that Chinelo snatched her man from her. And now they sent her away. Angela, exactly what I told you. What? Angela went to Chinelo's house. Oh, that girl was paid for this. Where's Madam, sir, Chinelo is only my sister's friend. I even see Chinelo like my own sister as well. Please, don't mind that girl who came here. She's, she's only trying to tarnish Chinelo's image, believe me. How possible is that? Eh? She must have done something to that Angela. As you said, Angela is your friend. So please tell me something else, Joe. Young man, the issue is not entirely about Angela. But that she had the audacity to fight my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife! Mm -hmm. hmm. You see, since her parents died in the village, her uncle, who is a very close friend of mine, pleaded with me to take her along and train her. Finally, I agreed. But all she has succeeded in doing in this house is to cause chaos. My wife even showed me the blouse that she destroyed. Please, please, please. In short, let me go, even go and get her last things. Come on, down. I'm really sorry everything is turning out like this. But let me tell you something. As long as I'm feeding, you will never go hungry. And as long as I'm paying my school fees, you will not look for yours. I promise to always look after you. Okay? It's okay, Fred, but I just pray it doesn't get that bad. I'll go back there this evening when my uncle will be around. He's more understanding. Okay, um, call me if anything happens. If they don't let you in the house, call me. I'll check into a nice hotel and then we we'll take it from there. You can come to the house now. My father is around. Okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate everything. I have to get going now. It's almost 7 p.m. I know everything she said about you are lies. I tried to convince daddy before your friend came in. But don't worry. I know daddy will not let you stay out, okay? I hope so too. So, hope you've been reading your books. Yes, I have. But I still want you around so that you can help me out on some topics. The house is so boring without you. Hey, where are you taking that thing to? Where does it look like? Oh, Chinelo. No. This can never happen.
for she did, young lady. But mommy, why? If you two allow Chinelo to go, then you hate me. Yes. Don't you two feel my needs in this house to have a company? All these years, I've been alone. No sister, no brother. Don't you people have pity for me? Chinelo has been like the sister I never had. But you two have chosen to let her go. Mommy, why? Daddy, if you two let Chinelo go, then be ready to lose me. Of course, I know you're not serious, my baby. Honey, you see what this girl has caused to my family? It's okay. She has chattered my family. Eh? I told you not to bring her in, but you won't listen. It's okay. I don't like this. Okay, look at our daughter now. Eh? Okay. I told you. It's all right. It's okay. Mommy, it's okay. They have gone. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry for all the pain I must have caused you. And, um, Look on the bright side, huh? this is my house, um, you just make yourself feel comfortable and relaxed, okay, feel at home, and if you want anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Huh? Thank you so much, a roof over my head is much more than anything I can ask for right now, thank you. You're welcome, now uh, please can you go in? Eh? I need to stay in back. Don't tell me you're leaving because of me. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Um, I mean, it's my place, right? But uh, I'm not spending the night today. But it's dark, it's really late, and the streets are lonely and scary. I don't want you to get hurt. Don't worry, I won't. Now go in. Thank you, you're so kind and gentle. Alfred. Yes, Dad. Who is Chinelo? Chinelo. Mr. Godwin told me she has a positive influence on you since you met her. Uh, your grace have improved. So I would like to meet her. Oh, that's good, Dad. Uh, I can arrange a meeting. Yeah. Good. And uh, if you continue like this, I'll send you to American vacation during uh, long holidays. Wow. Thank you, Dad. I will do my best. Amazing.
guy that I despise so much has become my backbone. He even fights for me and also promises to be there without asking for anything in return. Oh, God. He's so wild, but yet so gentle. around call himself G Lord. Right? Yes, right. The time is not on our side. The exam is coming up in five days' time. We need to make our plans concrete. Concrete before his final paper. What do we do? Do we kidnap him and give him sweet treatment of death? Huh? I think the best way is to wipe him off at once. That guy is too smart. <gasps> Let's kill this guy before police gets him. It's better we do it that way. Ah! Let us ambush him on his way back after exams. Drag him down to the quarters and finish him off. Of course, you know G Lord has scars and wounds in about, and I'm supposed to be one of them. So it's better we just gun him down straight. Oh no, he doesn't use any black ball. The maker. I mean, what thing you they talk about? Eh? What thing be your home? I don't trust you. I don't. How do you want me to believe that you will kill your home brother? Yeah, G Lord is my brother. I know. But let me tell you guys one thing. G Lord has stepped on my toes countlessly. He went to the Roma and killed my cousin. In fact, in spite of all my problems and suspicions, he has taken six of my girlfriends. Damn, this guy's Despite the fact that the law says no Lord should take another Lord's girlfriend. That seems not to be enough for him. I have worked with G Lord, I have followed him like a moron, and now he wants to hand over to a second year guy. Can you imagine that? It's not humiliating. See, guys, please. what I want is to calm him down before the handover. He has been smart. Recon is very near. Emeka, what are you insinuating? Good. 90% of my brothers want him out. For six, he has dealt with us ruthlessly. We all get fired because of this excessive longevity and that makes us fear. You all know that if another brother gets him down, definitely he's gonna lead to fight. I mean, my family will maintain the law and fight back. It's going to be too it's going to destroy a whole lot of things. And some of, some of us. 
us here might even end up with those nets. Wait, wait a maker. What can you do it? Can you do it, a maker? You must not be me. I, I mean, I have a lot of guys that can do it perfectly. I can involve blade, python, and all of them to take care of it. No! No, 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 no. We don't need to involve any other person. Not to make it an open secret. Besides, I've been this silent war between you and G Lord. Emeka. Emeka, we'll offer you this sum of 700,000 for you to bring G Lord to kill you. Yes. Six feet down. Did you say seven hundred thousand? Seven hundred thousand. I love her, but it is clear that she sees me only as a friend. Could it be that uh, that she is still a virgin? She might run away if I make advances at her. Maybe I should just take it slow. It's better to be friends with her than to lose her completely. Uh. Yeah, right. mm, talk about our room, man. This is mouth watching. Enjoy your meal. Aren't you eating? No. I'm going to drink. You can't be serious. Please get cutlery. Maybe I don't have the strength of going in there and coming out again. You know, there's just one cutlery here. Come on. Okay, I'll eat on one condition. And what condition is that? That I feed you and I feed myself. <laughs> you can't be serious. It's better I am. I'm serious. Okay. Deal right. then. Let's go in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're not really looking bad anyway. Uh, You're a okay. well dressed girl. I see, yes, thanks. Yeah. So, where are you headed? I'm good to my lecturer's office and submit my assignment. Oh, really? <sighs> Amaka? Yeah. I've not really seen G Lord in a long while. You know, we heard he comes into the school, moves straight to the library, and disappears from there. I don't really know what is happening, but whatever that is, tell G Lord that his brother wants to see him. Okay, I will. Good, good. So, how are you preparing for the forthcoming exam? Try my best, sir. Leave the rest for God. Good. Mm -hmm. Alright then, you can run. Alright, see you later. Okay. Bye.
Nedu. Yes. Why are you called the G Lord? No. You're the first person who has had the gods to ask me this question. So I'll answer you. In my first year in school, I was so intimidated by this particular cult group. Because I was intelligent, they made me write exams for them at the detriment of mine. Missed some of my lectures, missed some of my exams because I ran errands for them. So, in a bid to protect myself, I joined another fraternity. I became so obsessed with my present position then, so I stepped on so many toes without knowing. I grew in ranks, became so autocratic that so many cults and other lords feared me. So they had. And that was how I became. so many despicable things and I've done so many terrible things anytime anything bad happens all fingers point at me why because I'm always at the wrong place at the wrong time I regret it but it's too late now no, it's not. You can still change now. Anybody that comes close to you will definitely find out you're not as bad as you seem to be. <clears throat> Nidu. Yes. This is really hard for me. I've been trying to bottle it up, but I can't. I I know it might sound crazy, but that's how I feel. I I I've fallen in love with you. I love you. <sighs> you, you can't be serious. I'm serious, Nidu. I mean every word I just said. You you cannot be serious, please. You can't. Look, Chidelo, the worst thing that can happen to you right now is to fall in love with me. Anyone who is seen with me right now runs the risk of getting killed. I don't care. Look, you have to care. You just have to care. You weren't sent to school to fall in love with a deadly cultist like me. People want me dead. Please, Chinelo, just forget about me so you don't run the risk of getting killed for something you know nothing about. Please. Look, Nidu, if the love I have for you is going to get me killed, then let it be. And please, don't deny me this one thing I ask of you, please. Please, Nidu. 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 Have you been okay where are you where are you church huh. um, okay give me the address let me come meet you up there what what's what's your problem why are you avoiding me what is it I I know 
I know. Hello? Hello? Who was that? Who was that? Huh? I'm really pissed now. I'm leaving. Chinelo. 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 And I've been looking everywhere for you. You have to stop this your attitude of disappearing without notice. I don't like it. Chinelo, what's the problem? Did anyone hurt you? I've never fallen in love before. I've never loved a guy. But see, now that I've fallen in love, the person does not even give a hoot about me. He doesn't care. But that's not true now. You know Fred loves you. I, I should even be doubting the, your love for him because you never make, make him feel loved. Fred is... Amaka, it's, it's not Fred. Uh, it's Nidu. Which Nidu? My own Nidu. You're not serious. You're not. Like I'm serious. I, I, I don't Do know you I... know who Nedu is? The worst boy on campus. A playboy. <laughs> don't do this to yourself. Do not. But he's your brother. Oh yes, and I know him too well. Look, girl. I love you and I don't want you to get hurt. You're too fragile for Nedu. Nedu does not even know what love is all about. Please don't do this to yourself. I beg you. I beg you. I'm okay, but, but I love him. I love him. I, 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 it's not my fault. I didn't cause it. I, I don't know. I've been trying to control it, but I can't. I, I, I love him so much. I love him. Please, I'm very sorry. I misinterpreted the whole issue. She's a good girl. Please forgive me. That episode caused us pain and anguish in this family. My daughter hardly comes home at all. She says that we don't want her, that we want to be left alone. She hardly comes home at all. And next week, she's writing her university matriculation examination. The truth is that she has not been home for the past three days. Her phone is not working. Her line is not available. I don't know how to approach Chinelo on this issue. And my wife is not willing to either. How will I go? Eh? How do you think she will react when she sees me? But you cost it all. You drove her away. Please, dear. This is not the time to approach on blames. Eh? All I want is my daughter. I want her back. Please do something. What are you doing here? Your father and Chinelo just went out to look for you now. Where have you been? I don't like the way they treated Chinelo. The house is so empty without her. 
I'm still a young girl, but my parents will not let me have friends outside. I always feel so lonely and bored. I have to stay in a friend's place. Anyway, Chinelo promised to teach me a lot before my exams. That's why I'm here. It's okay. I understand, okay? Have you had lunch? Mm -hmm. All right, now. For next one, please. We'll talk at the restaurant. Thank you. Uh, I heard your sister is missing. Yes, but we found her. <sighs> Thank God then. <laughs> um, I actually came to check if you've seen her. I'll be on my way out now. Just that? Yeah, just that. So you take care, huh? Would you? Yes? Why are you, why are you tormenting me? Why are you hurting me? You're, you're hurting my feelings. You're hurting my pride. Is it because I made it clear to you the way I feel about you? Because I told you I love you? Okay, fine. If you don't feel for me the same way I feel for you, you, you can walk out that door and I swear I'm not ever going to bother you again. I guess I couldn't. I couldn't walk out on you. I just don't want you risking your life, you know, trying to... It's okay. It feels like I'm looking at you for the last time. I feel as if my spirit will leave me today. Today might be my day of reckoning. Come on, baby. Don't say that. You're strong, okay? Nothing will happen to you. I've been praying for you all through the night, and I'm sure you've prayed too. Yes, I have.
that Jay is free. G Lord. I'm making a waiting now. Now what's the name of this now? Let me see. Shut up. My friends. Thank you. Now you get on your knees. Get away with this. Get on your damn knees now. Let's see the world. Look, look, it's better for you to go back to where you are coming from. The school is not in good shape. A bad boy called Jitlo was shot this afternoon. No one ever has such a positive influence on my son. Not even we, his parents. I really appreciate Oh. Please don't forget, I saw the books you sent to me. They are really inspirational. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. The pleasure is mine. Uh, very soon, my son will be traveling to the States to see his mom and siblings. Really? Would you like to go with him? Yes. <laughs> to be an honor, sir. All right, that's very good. That's very good. Um, I have a meeting for two o'clock, so I will leave you your stance to enjoy yourself. So, okay. Maybe it will be all right, okay? What's wrong with me? I still feel very sick. Okay, let's go to the pharmacy and get some drugs, okay? Pharmacy. Hmm. Nedu will kill me. He hates self-medication. You know he's a doctor. <laughs> all right. Then let's go to the hospital, okay? We must you wait for Jilong to do everything for you? In this case, yes. I want him to take me to the hospital. Look at what you're saying. You have a grown baby. <laughs> you get over it, okay? Let's go to the pharmacy and get some drugs. What is happening? Finally, the maker has silenced Jinan. Did you confirm it? It is confirmed. Finally, Jinan is dead. Jinan. I'm sure my brother is going to be eating forever. Hey, I need to give him my own hug. I just hope so. I'm sure he's so happy wherever he is, and I can't even wait to give him my own hug. <laughs> hey, love birds, you guys are here. What's up? Hey. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, yeah, come and sit down. My fever has gone. Uh, really? Miss, me. <laughs> Miss Positive Influence. Uh, come and just me. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah, talk, talk, talk. Don't worry, I'll just sit down. Come here, I want to hear it now. <laughs> I'm a coyote. Okay, 
I had fun. We talked about a lot of things from school to unemployment and how to make more money, a whole lot of stuff. So, but I don't know, he's sounding like I and Alfred are dating. Maybe that's what he told him now. Obi, you should know better. <laughs> well, I don't think so. The old dude is happy his son has changed. I don't know, but I had fun. See your tummy. I had to depend on the ATL because I didn't prepare anything for you yet. Mm. Mm, little sis, how are you? Whoa. I'm doing good. Really? Yes. What brings you here? Yes. I went to your school today to tell you that I've gotten my exam center ah. when they started shooting. Shooting? Yes. Ah. It's our school. They said they shot one for a year guy. That he just finished his papers before they shot him. They call him um, G Lord. <laughs> G Lord? Huh? What are we going to do about this Chisum's new attitude? Honestly, I don't know. I thought she would have calmed down after Chinelo spoke to her, but she hasn't. Who knows where she got to? Should we call the police? No. No. This come today, come tomorrow thing of the police. I don't want anything to affect her exams. The exams is getting close. I'm sure she will try and reach Chinelo. If she reaches Chinelo, then we have no need to worry. Because I'm sure that Chinelo will bring her back. I'm certain. I'm sure. This is good. This one. Why are you putting me through all this, eh? I don't deserve this, eh? Yes. Only love can make a way.
Longer come to school these days, even when you do, you don't always enter classes. Anymore. What is wrong? Chinelo, you had an affair with him, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. But that was after you talked to me. He turned the new leaf before he was killed. We all noticed that. We all know. His results are excellent. It's a pity. What a waste. We didn't even see his corpse. The brotherhood claimed it. You see? That was how he claimed people's corpses when he was alive. Look, Chinelo, you don't have to bother yourself. Remember that he who lives by shedding men's blood. We also have his own blood shed by men. So take this easy, okay? Don't bother yourself. Continue with your studies. Let life go on. All right? Easy does it, okay? Get it easy. Remember that wherever he is now, if he truly loved you, he won't be happy with you to see you like this. So my dear, just take this easy, okay? Easy does it. It's all right. Come, let's go in so that I'll show you. Those girls are so standing with you here a while ago. Nana here, I can stand with them. The next thing they just scamper like that. I see they see HIV, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna see you later. Okay. And guy, why do you Run like that now. I don't know, you go ask them. Babe. Has it gone? Why does it run like that now? That guy is a nice. That's fine. Which way did you go? <laughs> Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Number 45, mm -hmm. what are the three arms of government? The legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. Wow, that's correct. Yes. At the rate you're going, I'm sure we'll make like um, 400 or 400, are we? Wow. <laughs> oh no, sweetheart, please don't do that to me. Please, I'm sorry. Good day, auntie. Good day. Please tell her that I'm sorry. I will, I'll talk to her, but let's go inside first. Hmm? It's okay, Auntie. She's only a kid. You get yourself up. It's not as if I don't want to come back to the house. I had an exam to write, and I was determined to exam in it. Okay, see, today we went through my question papers. And I almost got everything correct. So tell me, Daddy, had it been I was at home, I don't think I would have been able to get all I needed to know. At least you know Mommy very well. She's either complaining about this or that. So, you're going home with Dad now, right? No, I'll go tomorrow. Come on, sweetheart. Can't you see Daddy and Mommy are worried sick about you? The house is so lonely without you. And that's how the house is so lonely without you too. If you're not coming with me, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, see. But you know Amaka's condition now. I can't leave her like that. Okay, 
I promise I'm going to come visit you often. Is that okay? You promise? Yes, I promise. Okay. Then let me get my bag. Mm. That's more like it. I appreciate this very much. Hmm? Welcome, Uncle. But don't you think you should come home too? I will, but like I said before, not now. Okay. <laughs> Sweetheart, why is your face like this? You're going to your house, you know. Okay, come on. Give me that smile. Come on. <clears throat> That's my girl. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. And don't forget to come for your school needs. Anytime. I will, Uncle. Thank you very much. Come on, girl. All right, drive safely. I'll come and see you, okay? Bye. Bye. Take care. to reach you since you graduated but you are beyond my reach emeka how could you do that to me he was your best friend i mean your main man angela there are a whole lot of things that should be done regardless of who is involved i mean jade lord did a whole lot of terrible things to a lot of people if i had not killed him some others would have done that yes but you should have let them do it Angela, you don't understand. You don't really understand. If I had let them do it, I mean, you and I wouldn't have been here today. My family would have revolted and a lot of lives would have been lost. These guys are mean. They were ready to wipe out Medu and his entire family. Angela, I killed just one soul to save so many. Come on, you should be thanking me for that as a matter of fact, man. You don't expect me to do that, do you? Ah, of course. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, Angela, see. Let's just forget about this g love thing and talk about ourselves. I mean, you're looking good, man. Let's talk about what's been happening in your life. And besides, what's that ring you're wearing there? Oh, I am getting married. Really? I met him during my youth service. Oh my God! You've not done bad for yourself, baby. Now come on, you're a graduate. You've got a good job. 
And now you've got yourself this lucky man who wants to marry you. Oh, come on, congratulations, girl. Why are you going about campus, running your mouth, telling everybody that I killed your brother? I am going about telling people, or people are telling me. Please say something else. Let me warn you. You don't go about with my name. Do you get that? And besides, what you just saw, it's just the beginning. And I'm yet to complete what I started. Do you get that? I didn't mean to hurt you. Did you call me Nedu? I'm sorry. Call me.
not about saying it, it's about walking towards it. Keep calling me his name. I know you were with him for a long time, but what about me? I have blood running through my veins. No, you don't even allow me to touch you or kiss you or do anything. It's not fair now. I mean, I, I have so much love for you inside and you, you, you just bottle it up. You don't let me express it. And I'm tired of it. Have, have I not been patient enough? Yes, you have. But like I said before, it won't happen again. I'm really sorry. Sorry now. Please. How are you? Awesome. I hope you guys are spending the weekend fine. Very well, sir. I, I, I hope I am. Alfred has been a good host. Oh, hey, Dad, you know I'm the best now. Good morning, Dad. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Uncle B, how are you? Excuse me, sir. Dad, later now. All right, Yeah, I'm coming then. All right, man. So, Alfred. Okay, that, um, it's about that thing that you asked me the other time. You see, the thing is that this is a freaking end. Where my... And after the marriage, they will travel abroad. Hey. Eh, that girl is very, very lucky. Hmm? I am happy for her. Hmm. She's a fortunate child. Yes, she is. I've noticed that God's favor is always upon her. Hey, hey, so, Chiso. Yes. Yeah. When is she coming to visit us? I don't know. It's maybe this weekend. Ah. True. Then we should prepare. Yes, we should. I'm happy for her. Very happy. We should prepare. We should prepare. <laughs>
Well, I would want them to get married as soon as they finish their exam. And um, they will be traveling in two months to states. What about the national youth service? They will come back as soon as they get posted to serve their nation. And uh, they will go back afterwards. Okay. I will go home and inform her people and then get back to you. Oh, that would be okay by me. That would be nice. Thank you for the reception. Ah, don't mention. Oh. All right. Ah. Well, I have to run along. So soon? Well, that's the nature of my job. Always on duty. <laughs> well, always on duty. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all right. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> It was a day like this that the Lord was murdered. Tension everywhere. What's your problem? Why are you trying to open up all? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I'm, I'm sorry now, please. I want for you. I'm sorry. I'm
I, I can't believe you're not a graduate as in I'm done with this one, just for my final paper. I'm not a graduate. Those days I used to be in school. You know, Mr. Yeah. Research Fair. Bad fight to university. It's really crazy. Yesterday we were still there, we were no more students. Oh my god. So, where is Alfred Andrew? Should be around the corner. Okay, he's gonna be here soon though. See, you remember that last. Alfred! Uh, baby, if you are still here. Oh, wait for me. Somewhere around the corner. Yeah. Hello? Oh, yeah. You're gone. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. After I hugged you that morning, I went straight to meet Emeka in a district hotel. He then gave me my passport with a South African visa in it and I left for school. Shots in the air. 
trying to scare people away. He knew that no one would dare come close after the shooting. But unknown to them, I was wearing a bulletproof. that I never stopped loving you, truly. And I hope you don't expect to have me back. Chililo, where are you going to? Hey, no, 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 no. I'm so confused. This is so confusing. Alfred is my friend. Nedu is my brother. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know who loves you more, but all I know is that I want you to be happy wherever you are. There's this deep passion that bonds in you and Nedu whenever you guys are together. I don't know. Just. But Alfred loves me too. I don't want to. How am I sure that Nidu still loves me that much? You have a point there. But you have to understand that marriage is not all about sentiments. Nidu was also there for you. And Alfred was there too. Well, this is so complicated. Yeah, it is, it is. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. They have both been there for me. They've paralyzed me with their love at different times. God, I don't want to be a heartbreaker. It's okay. Okay? Don't worry, okay? Everything will be sorted out, okay? Don't worry. Nidu has always been my one and true love. Knowing he's alive and kicking you, and Alfred and I a restless marriage. I don't want Alfred to be unhappy while married to me. I love Alfred, but not the way I love Nidu.
Thank you very much, sir. I'm 